right, man. Sweet end. Let's get back into another video, man. Y'all know exactly what time it is. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys give me the 20 likes, and I'll drop another video in two days. What's good to every reaction minute today? We're back with another reaction video, man. By the title, y'all can tell exactly what it is. This is actually my first time doing this, but 15 things you didn't know about Sweden is what I'll be reacting to today, y'all. I think it's gonna be pretty interesting to learn some more things about Sweden. So let's get straight into it, y'all. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on IG, Twitch, and Snap all at the bottom of the screen. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. This is Travel Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we present you with another incredible country. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Sweden. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, welcome back to a new video brought to you by our team here at Alux.com. Today we're talking about a very fascinating country that literally embodies the Scandinavian dream. That of course is the Kingdom of Sweden. With a population of less than 10 million people, Sweden hmm. is the third largest country in the European Union based on its territory. It is still officially a kingdom, although the royal family has a mostly symbolic power in the state. Although most people know it for being the land of Vikings in the past, we have to thank Sweden for many innovative inventions and frankly, a very sustainable lifestyle as an example. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We hope you'll enjoy and learn new things from this 15 things you didn't know about Sweden video. Number one, Swedes pay a lot of taxes. Sweden is notorious for having one of the highest tax rates in the world, which would normally be considered bad, especially in the US. The current tax rate is 51.4% of the GDP, and the country uses a progressive income tax rating system. For example, if you earn more than $72,543 per year, 31% goes to income tax, and your employer also has to pay 25% for social fees. Damn. However, Swedes love this about their country so much so that a tax is called a skat, which means treasure in Swedish. That is because they receive free education, including zero university taxes and wow. health care, okay. since 27% of taxes are invested in these areas. Police and the military get only 5%, while 42% goes to social security. Number two, That's not bad. Swedish fathers that get is, a lot of day- I'm not gonna lie, that didn't sound bad at all, y'all. Ooh, Swedish fathers get a lot of day- That's pretty good too, what? Bro, I like this. Wow, I need to go to Sweden, y'all. Days off for parental leave. Having a child is stressful enough, and a lot of that stress is finding time off work to care for a newborn. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that normally, government policies favor maternity leave, meaning that new fathers usually get to spend less time with the children. Well, certainly the Swedish government thinks that this is not okay. Sweden is also a big promoter of them. gender equality and currently gives 480 days off work to new parents that can split it however they like to care for their child. Actually, the country was the first to allow families to divide the leave, and 390 days of that are subsidized with taxpayer money. Number 3. Stockholm is one of the greenest cities in the world. Oh, they got windmills Sweden and shit. Sweden is big on ecology. So big. In fact, that its capital, Stockholm, was the first to receive the European Green Capital Award, which is given by the European Union. It also means that the capital is one of the cleanest cities worldwide, giving us an example of what real sustainable living looks like. For example, these buses are fueled with methane from sewage systems instead of oil, and the recycling rate of the whole city is around 90%. There are also a lot of parks, and they've even managed to redevelop an area that was once a toxic industrial site called Hammerby Schustad. 
It now has more than 25,000 people living there who wow, use car sharing, bro. live in green buildings, and benefit from high-tech waste management systems. It's also said that Stockholm will cease using fossil fuel by 2050. Number 4. Sweden is a world leader in terms of innovation. You wouldn't know it today, but Sweden used to be one of the poorest countries in Europe just 100 years ago. It all changed when the country started investing heavily in its infrastructure and, of course, in its people. Sweden has less than 10 million people, but ranks among the highest in terms of global innovation. The stable political climate, high-quality education, and promotion of creative ideas has given the world quite a few successful companies. AstraZeneca, Electrolux, Skype, Spotify, Ikea, just to name a few of the world-famous businesses that are Swedish. Sweden. The Damn. country is literally driving world innovation. Shout out to Ikea. <laughs> I still haven't been inside one yet either, yo. That's crazy. Keep it going, man. Go back a few more seconds. I'm going to hear those. It's businesses that are Swedish. The country is oh, literally AstraZeneca, bet, yeah. Electrolux, Skype, Spotify, Ikea. Skype? Just to name what? a few of the world famous businesses that are Swedish. The country is literally driving world innovation. And we want to know what they'll come up with next. Number five. The H&M magnate is the richest person in Sweden with a net worth of $16.4 billion. Everyone knows H&M, but few people know the company is actually Swedish. The first store was opened in 1947 by Erling Pearson and since H &M, became a global wow. fashion empire. Erling's son, Stefan, is now Sweden's richest person with a net worth of 16.4 billion US dollars as of 2018. He's now the chairman of H&M, lives in Stockholm, and has founded the Mentor Foundation, a nonprofit that helps young people who are struggling with substance abuse issues. The Pearsons like to keep business in the family, since his son, Carl Johan, has taken over as the CEO of H&M in 2009. Nice. They caught us with an ad. Hold up. It's all good, y'all. We good. Number six. Sweden lost out on an $85 billion deal with Norway. No way. Well, for what? Sweden has a great economy and is one of the happiest countries in the world. However, its neighbor, Norway, is way better off, and it's all thanks to the oil. Norway is insanely rich because of its oil and gas resources, which make up 22% of the country's GDP. It is, of course, one of the highest in the world. But in the 1970s, they had mostly no idea how much oil they actually had and proposed an agreement that went like this. They would give oil concessions to Sweden in exchange for lumber and 40% of Volvo, the biggest Swedish company at the time. Volvo shareholders, however, rejected the proposal in 1979, and the deal fell through big time. That same deal would have been worth $85 billion today. Ironically, Volvo sold in 2014 deal. for just $1.5 billion. Sick. Number 7. The Nobel Prize for Literature is in jeopardy. Each year, the prestigious Swedish Academy awards the highly coveted Nobel Prize to the most valuable scientists, writers, economists, and great thinkers of the world. It has had its series of controversial events in the past, but this year, they will not award a Nobel Prize for Literature since a shocking scandal has taken over the Academy. Uh -oh. It turns out that several women have accused Jean-Claude Arnaud, a photographer and husband of a Swedish Academy member, of sexual assault. What's more, he abused his status several times in the past to reveal the names of Nobel Prize winners prior to the official announcement. The permanent secretary, Sarah Danius, has even resigned from her position following the scandal. It seems that Arnaud is mm -hmm. no stranger to controversy. In 2006, he reportedly groped Swedish Crown Princess Victoria at a formal event, according to some news publications. Number 8. Drinking Dirty alcohol dogs, is highly <laughs> regulated by the Swedish government. This is something that most people find shocking about Sweden. It's a free country in all respects, but actually has rules in place that promote certain behaviors for its citizens. In the 19th century, it was legal to make your own alcohol at home, and apparently Swedes drank a lot. So much so that moderate societies started to appear, and nowadays you can actually buy alcohol in supermarkets. Well, only drinks that contain 3.5% alcohol at most. So if you want to throw a party, Ew. you would normally go to a system Bolaget, the state-owned liquor store. 
Oh, and you can't purchase it if you're not 20 years old. As a consequence, System Bolaget is one of the world's biggest buyers of spirits and other alcoholic beverages. Number 9. Sweden and Finland fight over where Santa Claus lives. <laughs> On a lighter note, did you know that Santa Claus lives in Sweden? Or no, was it Finland? Believe it or not, this is a debate that the two countries have, and the results are inconclusive. That is because Lapland, the magical northern territory of the Northern Lights, amazing sights and reindeer is actually divided between the northern parts of both countries. Finland also has the Santa Claus Village, which you can find Santa's main post office and other attractions. But according to Swedish researchers, it makes more sense for Santa to be in Sweden. The geography department at the Swedish University has used satellite images to calculate what would be the mean center of the global population. Based on that, a Swedish town called Jokmok would be the best location for gift distribution purposes. Number 10. Hey. IKEA is the world's most profitable furniture company. And it was made Don't in lie. Sweden, man. You definitely have a piece of furniture in your home that you've assembled yourself, and most likely it's an IKEA product. I don't know. The company was founded by then 17 year old Ingvar Kamprad in 1947 and has won over the world with its Scandinavian chic designs. In 2016 alone, the company had a revenue of 35 billion euro, or 41 billion dollars. Kamprad was also the richest Swedish person and probably the richest in the country's history as well, with an estimated net worth of 58 billion dollars before his death in January of 2018. Want to find out some more about IKEA? We've got you covered, Aluxers. Make sure to watch our 15 Things You Didn't Know About IKEA video. I got you. Number 11. Swedes Invented a Green Fitness Craze Swedish people enjoy working out in nature and saving the environment, so it was only a matter of time before this happened. Apparently, what you have to do is jog, but also pick up litter on your way, and it's called plogging. The trend has even started to spread to other countries as well. Ploggers use the hashtag plogging on Instagram to promote this new type of workout. Apparently, they have succeeded in gathering communities of people all over the world that are committed to having a cleaner environment. So maybe next time you put on your running shoes, you might want to pick up that annoying plastic bottle on the sidewalk as well. Number 2. Sweden's national food obsessions are not so Swedish. Another thing that Sweden is known for is its relative openness to receive and integrate immigrants. Swedes enjoy fika, a tradition that says you should take at least one break period per day to enjoy coffee and eating Swedish meatballs for lunch. However, the meatball recipe has come under scrutiny lately, since they are, well, not so Swedish. The recipe was brought from Turkey, which was then known as the Ottoman Empire in the 18th century by King Charles XII. <laughs> it was subsequently integrated in with the local cuisine along with a taste for really strong coffee. The president of the Turkish Corporation for Coordination Agency went on to say that IKEA should not sell the famous meatballs as if they were a Swedish dish. Number 13. What? It's illegal to spank children in Sweden. <laughs> A pretty worrying statistic says that 80% of Americans have admitted to hitting their young children, according to CNN. In fact, it's not quite illegal to punish children in that manner at all in the US. There are two camps, the one that's against corporal punishment and the one that says it's okay to spank children from time to time. Sweden, however, was the first country to ban this type of punishment, considering it abuse. Nowadays, Swedish parents rarely hit children in any way, and their example has been followed by around 30 countries. Schools are also places where corporal punishment is prohibited, and it really seems to be working out great for them. The whole philosophy is that children should be disciplined gently. Hitting will only break trust between child and carer, and that will lead to long-term negative effects, such as behavioral problems. Number 14. ABBA is Sweden's most beloved export. At the height of their fame, ABBA was second only to carmaker Volvo as the biggest Swedish export. The band was so famous that it sold around 500 million records and were the biggest best-selling artists for the non-English speaking world. As Swedes, this is a huge deal since they topped the charts in the 70s in the UK, Ireland, Canada, and of course the US. US. And apparently what makes this band still insanely popular is the fact they're relatable, sweet lyrics and music that was inspired by Swedish folk songs and bands like the Beatles and the Beach Boys. 
What's more, the four members have decided to reunite after a 35-year hiatus and will release new music in December 2018. Hey, yo. Number 15. The three-point seatbelt is a Swedish invention. We have a lot to thank Sweden for. ABBA, Skype, Spotify, the pacemaker, Spotify? HIV tracker, and of course, the seatbelt. We take it for granted, but back in the day, it wasn't a requirement for cars, or at least it was less efficient during collisions. Safety engineer Nies Bolin was working in 1959 for carmaker Volvo when he invented the three-point V-shaped seatbelt that is specially created to protect people during an accident. Thankfully, Volvo had made an open patent, which means that every car manufacturer had the right to use the design free of charge. Make no mistake, every car in the world uses it nowadays, and it probably has saved around 1 million lives so far, according to Britain's Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents. Now that was all for today, Alexers. But before you go, we're curious to know what you think. Does free education lead to a more innovative society like Sweden has? Please leave your answer in the comments. And as a thank you, as always, for sticking with us until the end, we have wow. another fascinating bonus fact about Sweden just for you. Number 16, Ooh. Sweden has to import trash. Sweden has a garbage problem, and it's not what you think. In fact, Sweden has run out of trash for recycling and so has to ask for help from other countries to power its recycling plans. Wow. So how did they end up with this situation? People well, recycle it turns much? out they are so environmentally conscious, wow. they have a pretty heavy Bro. taxation system for fossil fuels and powers half of its electricity from renewable materials. Since other countries like the UK have bans on landfills, they prefer to send it to Sweden instead of paying the fine for garbage. But at the end of the day, their recycling system is so good, they will surely be the first country to stop using oil products and welcome the new era of cleaner energy sources. Hopefully we'll learn from them sooner rather than later. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss Great a video. video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos. Hey man, say hey man. Shout out to them for making this. Alux. I think the the one thing that I thought was the most interesting, probably, probably, probably it's illegal to spank children. I ain't gonna lie. I'm actually that one was kind of surprised me, bro. But nah, it's facts, bro. If you hit your kid, it kind of betrays trust a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's kind of why people so fucked up now in America, y'all. But hey, man, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you guys like the, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on IG, Twitch, and Snap all at the bottom of the screen. Without further ado, we're going to get into some more facts. Maybe we might do Norway. We might do some more facts about Sweden. I don't know. Maybe some Netherlands, some Dutch, something. Anywho, catch your boys in the next video, and I'm gone. Peace.